Hey everybody, Steve here in the recording studio in Illinois. Hey, I got three cool drums for you today. And this is really great because they're three six and a half by 14s, they're three solid shell drums, and they're from the early 1900s solid shell manufacturers. Ludwig on the right over here, Slingerland in the middle, and Leedy on my left. Now this Leedy solid shell is a Leedy uh, Broadway standard. It had a replacement strainer but no extra holes. And uh, it's a solid shell drum, double flange rims, great sounding drum. The Slingerland solid shell, six and a half by 14. This is their tone flange version, which you'll see, a, we'll insert a shot here. They had what was basically like a banjo ring affixed to the top head that was designed to focus the sound a little bit more. This drum has been beautifully refinished in a white lacquer, which is an original finish that was available then. And then this Ludwig six and a half by 14 super in white marine pearl. Um, this one, I, I love them all. I love them all. They're all great, but they're all a little different. So what we're going to do is go a little bit of each one of these drums. I haven't futzed around with them very much, uh, but I'm going to give you a sense for how each of them sounds, and then uh, we'll have a little fun with all three of them. You can see all of these on our Reverb store. So here we go. First, the leady. Hope the rim shots were right. Let me turn my microphone off. All right. We're going to try it again. Tone flange. 